Hi, I'm Roger Bindle. I'm outside of the farmery in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The reason we're here today is to catch some fish. This isn't actually a fishery though, it's a hatchery. The farmery has been hatching perch for a few years now and just recently started hatching walleyes. And we'll go through the process of what they're doing inside there. And then after we scoop out a few of these perch, we're gonna take them back and clean them. We'll show you how to clean the perch. And then we're gonna cook some up for a Friday night fish fry. Watch on as we go through the process. An important thing I've learned while reporting on aquaponics and biosecure facilities like the farmery is the importance of knowing the source of your fish and buying local. Places like Wisconsin Sea Grant, Eat Wisconsin Fish, and the Wisconsin DNR are good sources for learning more about aquaculture and fishing in Wisconsin waters. Now let's take a look at our source. This is inside the biosecure hatchery part of the farmery, and these are the tanks where they hatch perch and walleye. There are broodstock in this first tank. The perch in this tank were seasoned for spawning, laying eggs, for an October hatch. Over here are the larval perch from that hatch. They're so small you can barely see them feeding in the tank, but they're there. They'll be transferred to these conical tanks as they grow larger and need more space. By spawning and hatching inside, the farmer can do multiple hatches per year. This third tank has perch that have matured and ready as brood stock for a January hatch. And here is the tank where we'll get our perch from. The farmery needs this tank for walleye broodstock, so this was a rare opportunity for us to get some fresh, clean perch from the farmery. They normally just sell fingerlings to farmers that grow them to market size. These were excess broodstock, so we were very lucky. And finally, here are the walleye they hatched in April. They're pretty small now, but the farmery has plans for the walleye to spawn in April 2023. And now it's time to catch our fish. The staff corralled the perch into a group and netted a bunch for us. We moved them to a cooler with ice for transferring back home, and now we're off to clean them. Okay, we got our fish back to the house. Now it's time to clean them. First thing you want to do is have a very sharp knife. It helps tremendously to have a sharp knife for cleaning fish. Another thing I'll tell you ahead of time, with perch, interesting thing about them, smaller ones actually clean a little bit easier than the really big ones. These will have a little bit tougher skin and a tougher scale. So the first thing I like to do is just cut along behind the gill. Don't go through all the way, just to the bone. And then follow along the back fin. And you'll feel when you get past the rib cage, come through and just slice through. And now I'm just kind of going to work around the rib. We'll repeat that for the other side, but now all I want to do is run the fillet knife the length of the fish and clean off the nice chunk of fillet. And now the good part, cooking and eating. There are many ways to cook perch. Today we're using a cast iron fry pan with a small amount of oil over medium high heat. Our chef for today is Paula Schultz from the farmery. So the first step, dredge the fillets lightly in flour seasoned with salt, pepper, and Old Bay or your favorite seasoning. Then place in the hot frying pan. Flip the fillets when the edges are golden brown. They cook quickly, so keep an eye on them. And now they're ready to eat. Enjoy. Mmm.